What's going on guys? Welcome back to a new video. Today we have a brand new product review of something pretty unique and interesting here. We have the 2021 Panini Mosaic Basketball Cereal Boxes. Brand new format, kind of obscure, and if you guys like seeing us review all the stuff we can get our hands on, and I mean it when I say it, we get some random stuff in here. Uh, show support in these vids, like and sub, it's free, helps us a ton, especially if you're new. And also, sign up for membership, get some bonus content, new video from the members is live. Bonus ones to say thank you, so yeah, links down below, and um, appreciate all the support. So, cereal boxes. Where do these come from? When did they start coming out? I'm very interested in seeing what these are all about, but I have some information for this product, so let's get into it as always and uh, see what it's all about. So the cost for these is $60 at like resale, give or take 10 bucks, kind of varies a lot. And uh, these are little tiny boxes, so they're not blasters, they're not megas, they are their own new format. And these come in the kids crates. So they're kind of crates that Panini made a little while back for kids. And they have maybe a couple of boxes of these and some other kind of cool random stuff, mainly geared towards kids. Now these come in there and obviously everything will make their way to the resale market. So I bought these awesome online seller. And uh, yeah, so I guess they must have bought two kids crates or something like that. But we have uh, two here now. So they come in the kids crate and you'll get maybe a soccer box, a basketball box, and it's a mixture of sports. And then they have their unique like, kind of formats and stuff like that. So uh, yeah, definitely look at those if you're interested and they're geared for kids. So if you have a kid who might want to collect, kids crate might be an option. But they're the boxes that are inside here and it's new. So I thought I'd try it out. Now these have 25 cards and there are also six prisms in every single box. Now, what kind of prisms can we find? That's a very interesting question. So here is the back. Now, very interesting thing here so these i would consider kind of like a retail box but there's something very different about these so you have all the parallels up there there's silver there's mosaic reactive red and reactive green i would assume green's the rare of the two and then that's for all the base hobby inserts and then not just the hobby inserts like meta mastery blue chips the case hit the ultra rare ones are also in here so you see the bottom lines right there there's a straight fire center stage swagger stained glass overdrive these are in here, so it's kind of like a mixture of hobby and retail, which is odd, but it's a good thing to see. Getting those hobby inserts would be pretty cool, especially like a stained glass, say jaw, LeBron, something like that. So look out for those. Not many of these are made compared to the others. And so for example, blasters, the print run is ridiculously high. These ones, I don't believe they make too many of them. They're just in the kids' crates from what I've seen. So there you go, advertising the hobby contents there. So gonna be interesting to see. You get 11 non-base cards, as you can see right there at the bottom. So get some base as well but yeah pretty interesting so i think that's really it for the format interested to see if we get some of those uh inserts maybe one in a box maybe one every hundred boxes who knows but they are in here and yeah new cereal boxes so let's see what these are all about background we have some mosaic action there and we also have pac-man cards our ig check it out it's free and that's linked down below in the description as well as our discord tiktok all those are free so here we go cereal boxes name i'm not too sure cereal boxes you got me i don't know why you know why please let me know but yeah there's a bunch of like new formats that they put in these kids crates and they call them cereal boxes i don't know why it might be something really simple but for now that's all i know all right so here we go let's see what these are about are they good are they bad there's our one pack packaging honestly is not too bad it's not too much bigger than the pack here sometimes we see some crazy stuff going on there we go all right let's see what's in here no autograph or mem potential mosaic does not have mem but there are no autographs in here it's just the parallels and the inserts so yeah let's see if these are good or bad and hopefully we can pull something cool so we have the base once again I like this year's base design and we'll flip through our base see if we see something all right i think we have some stuff coming up here so will barton and you have a, the cell okay just a base one i see a lot of different shiny stuff coming up so not too sure what we have but excited to see a kong Wu, mason jones Woo we have ad all right and malachi fun all right so here is the yeah this is um all right this is the reactive reds yeah and then maybe a green too okay all right so there we go Rudy Gobert, you see the reactives in retail. There's a bunch of different ones. This is the red, and you can only find the reds and greens in here. So, yeah, what do you think? Get that pattern there. So it doesn't have that pattern. It's not a reactive. So there's like, for example, resale greens. No pattern, not reactive. All right. What do you guys think? Do you like these? They kind of look like a strawberry. I don't know. That's what I thought. Rui. So we'll put that there. No rookie action. Gallinari. Come on. 
Do we have a green here? Yeah, we have a green. All right, please, please, rookie. One rookie. Blood so. All right, so green are definitely the rare of the reactives here. And then... DeAndre Jordan. Okay, so no rookies of uh, note yet. We have Luca Stairmasters. So you could usually find these in hobby. To find them in retail, not something you can do except for in, in these, which I would consider these a retail product. So De'Aaron Fox. Okay, got Lamelo Blue Chips. All right, finally some nice rookie action. Kawhi Leonard and introductions. Can we get someone good? Cole Anthony Mosaic. All right, not too bad. So there you go. We'll do a little versus box one versus box two. We have one more look at these. Once again, they cost you like 60 bucks, give or take 10 bucks. It varies a lot. So what's your thoughts? Do you like what you've seen so far? Do you not like it? Think it's good, bad? So we'll move these to the side so we can do a little recap after and compare them. So there we go. Box one, it was all right. I really want to see a rookie reactive. That'd be nice. There we go. All right. Here we go. Next one up. Let's see what we see. Now these clear packs, you don't want to put it back, so we'll go like this. All right. What do we have in box two? We have our base, Jalen Brown, Drummond, and they're kind of all sliding. All right, Kyra. And we have Emmanuel Quickly. Got Reggie Perry, and before we get to a reactive, we have a Russell Westbrook. All right, one rookie, please. No. Okay, Dragic, and rookie time? No. Dame. At least it's a color match for these, I guess. Silver lining. All right, Chris Middleton. I hope this rookie's in here. Come on. Okay. <sighs> Ooh. Okay, Eric Gordon. All right, what, do we have one more? I think we have one more here. Or do we have two more? Do we get a bonus? Do we get like bonuses galore? Okay. I guess you're not guaranteed a specific amount. Oh, rookie. Okay. Never had a doubt. Here we go. Uh, team. Don't do this. Don't do this. Yes! Let's go. Yes! 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 Yes. All right. Anthony Edwards. I love this card. I love this card. That's... Oh, that's a nice card. That is... Come on. That's a top three Ant card. Not this exact one I'm holding here, but like the uh, pose he's doing. That's, that's the one I love so much. So the Ant Mosaic rookie. Love it. That's a good one. That's a really, really sick card. Oh, that's exactly what I wanted to see. Ooh wee. Awesome. And we have uh... a <laughs> woohoo. All right, no problem. Color match Jeff Teague. Ant. There we go. So let's see if we can get a comp using our free center sage app. It's pretty simple. Scan cards, get comps. And uh, yeah, I'll link it down below in the description. So it's kind of like this scan the card, get a comp. So there you go, say 50 bucks. And I can't imagine very many of these have sold. And a lot of people probably don't even know about these, but then you can add it to your collection like this. Done. Open your collection. Let's give it a second. There we go. So some cards there shows you how it's going up and down, collection values. So uh, pretty cool. It's free. Don't got to pay for this kind of stuff to get some uh, cool things like this. So yeah, there we go. We'll watch this and over time. Once again, they don't make a ton of these. So we'll see. That app is called Center Stage. Two words. Once again, link down below in the description. But nice little comp on the ant right there. I like it. I like it a lot. So let's leave up this beautiful card. Very nice. Very, very nice. And uh, man, Ant's a great player. All right, let's keep going. And I know the comp you're really wondering about was probably this green Jeff Teague, but yeah, unfortunately, I feel like that's a one of one. Patrick Williams. I wonder if this is actually sold. Oh, I'll check later. All right, we have uh, Siakam here. Is that the same one? Did we get that one last time? Was it? Was it this one? Is it one per box maybe? All right, let's put this here here and here Lamello introductions nice Gordon Hayward all right all right and our final one can we get one of those rare inserts maybe oh maybe not GP Stairmasters 
All right, there we go. Thought it might have been a fire one, but there we are. So, which box is better? What's your thoughts on this format here? Do you like it, not like it? So here's a quick recap. Does box one or box two win? So here's box one, we got the coal. Oh, so we got blue chips, Lamello. We got green blood so got our reds. So we got a lot more reactive in the second box. There we are. Get these three guys for highlights. And then this is box two. So cereal boxes. Do you like the format? I personally think it's pretty unique. It's pretty cool. So Lamello, there we go. Ant. Very nice. Very nice. And yeah. So we'll close off on these. Actually, we'll show our green from here. Two hot greens. Real good. Ooh. Greens are so good. So, which one do you like more? Drop a vote. But yeah, a lot of fun. I like these boxes. It's interesting, and having that hobby potential is always very nice. No numbered cards, which is one thing I want to see. Autographs, maybe. Something like that. But overall, I thought it was a pretty cool format. And uh, they are kind of tough to get your hands on. You can get them on, say, like online retailer sellers. But uh, there aren't that many of them, especially compared to like blasters and stuff like that. But I do like them. Uh, they are nice. The cards look really cool. Love these reactives, which are across a lot of the retails. So I'll show from 1 to 10. And the price is kind of tough to get your finger on. It's kind of like 60 once again, give or take 10, maybe even $15 in either direction. Uh, but I'll give these a 6 out of 10. I think they're I think they're nice. Ceiling's solid, but I wish there was a little more ceiling. And then, um, yeah, overall, it's nice having that hobby potential once again. Something I really, really like. So, unique, fun. What are your thoughts? And you want to see more of these in the future? Let me know. I'll try to get my hands on all the stuff I can get my hands on. So, had fun opening these. Got a really cool hit right here. Love this card. To the first one, guys, as always. Thank you very much. If you open these for yourself, wish you the best of luck. But thanks for watching as always. Like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys later.